Now we're going to talk about uh, transaction, transactional RFC. This is very important, especially in workflow and other stuff where you have a transaction and that's stuck for some reason. Okay. So how you how you want to see. So here you will see it's based on username. So we can just put star here and we'll try to get some transactional RFC. So lots of times what happens, something gets stuck and you can see this is related with remote function calls that is talking with others other side of SAP. Okay, so here it will say that this is the reason it's getting stuck. Um, and then uh, here it would be so here you can see what is the transaction code that's having the problem and who is executing it and what is the target system which is the target application server and all those things so this is very very useful but sometimes you can delete it if you want or you can reprocess it so if i double click on it it will probably take me to the function model where it will, where, where it's having the problem and uh, there, there you can it's very good for analysis and i think you can probably go to the all the spools where it's waiting so you can see when you have this lu w is logical unit of work okay so these things you get information from where and i want to see whether it gets tells you the stack no not here so but from here if i click go to qrfc and i can go to remote system uh, but i don't have a remote system that I to log in. but uh, you can find that you are having the error but this is this is very important transactional rc sm58 and you can just um, check based on date time this is owned by basis so basis will contact you uh, on this and then if something is stuck if they reprocess it will be unstuck so that's it for this tutorial transactional